Hey guys, we're and I one and I'm talking about the Stadia Connect. Well, first thing, the Stadia Connect was actually pretty short. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. And there were some good things in this Connect. And they had new games like Blood Count, and then they had that fire and rescue game that actually looks pretty decent because it's like where you can rescue somebody um, the conventional way, I guess, or you can rescue somebody like the funny way. And then apparently it seems like the customer actually rates on how you did. And of course they announced some other games like PUBG, that was the big announcement at the end. That's cool, it comes free if you own Stadia Pro. But here's the thing. Google went kind of silent on Stadia for a while. And now for this to be their first like big thing happening after kind of just going silent, it just kind of felt disappointing because they didn't announce much games, especially not much new games, a couple, but not much. Now, first of all, let me just preface by saying I don't own Google Stadia, so I'm not sure if they've added the features yet, but remember how when they launched, they launched with like 10 features that were supposed to come on day one missing. So I was kind of looking forward to them announcing the, some of the features that were supposed to be available on launch coming out, but all we got were like, hey, here are some games. And the games they announced were, didn't look bad, but most of them weren't new games. They were just games coming to Stadia like Doom Eternal. So, I don't know. The Stadia Connect, the only good thing is that Stadia now has the free version out, and when you download the free version, you get like a two-month trial, I think, of the pro version. So, they are trying. That's a good thing to see. But, I just don't know. Stadia still doesn't seem like it is where it should be. I still think they should have delayed it. Maybe release it, like, around this time. In all honesty, with what's going on in the world right now and you guys know what I'm talking about. A game streaming service may be what a lot of people go for because you don't have to even concern yourself with going to the store to buy the games or downloading nothing. A lot of people are at home and they don't have as much to do. So playing games through streaming may be a big thing right now and it doesn't seem like Google is where it is for that to really happen. Google, yes, they've unlocked this free thing where you get even the pro version for two months right now, but Google Stadia has a good number of games that come free, let's say, with the pro service, which is $9.99 a month, right? But it's basically the same amount that you pay for Xbox Game Pass, and Xbox Game Pass has so many AAA games on that. Like, even Kingdom Hearts 3 is on Xbox Game Pass now. So, in comparison, I don't think I would pay $9.99 for Google Stadia because right now the list of free games they have just aren't there yet. Maybe in a year or two if they keep on with Stadia it'll be there where it's worth $9.99 a month. But right now it's not. And the fact that you actually have to pay full price in some cases for like AAA games on the Stadia just doesn't help. PUBG for free with pro access probably was the best announcement in this connect. But Really, this Kinect did not make me want to go out and buy Stadia Pro. It just isn't there yet. It may get there one day, but that future only God knows. Anyway, what did you guys think about the Stadia Connect? Did this make you want to actually go out and get your two free months of Stadia Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.